Namaste. My name is Todd Norian and I'm the founder of Ashaya Yoga. Welcome to Asana Spotlight. Hey, be sure to share this, this uh, experience with friends to spread light, to bring more peace in the world. The posture today is called Vimukhasana. Uh, it's a posture that I actually created and asked a tantric scholar friend of mine to name. So what does Vimukhasana mean? Well, it's the roadrunner pose. And uh, to get technical, V means away and Mukha means face, facing. So to face away, it actually means to look back, to face away from the front, uh, or to flee. And because of the shape of the legs in this pose, it just reminds me of the uh, <laughs> uh, roadrunner cartoon where the roadrunner is always escaping from the coyote. So uh, there's a lot of metaphors in this. One is that we all have the power inside of us to overcome obstacles, to actually outrun the aggressors that come towards us. And it's, it's really a question whether you wanna be a victim of life or whether you wanna rise up and be victorious in life. And this whole idea of looking back, we don't wanna to get too stuck looking back at the past, but when you do look back, what do you see? Do you look back with eyes of regret or do you look back with eyes of compassion and gratitude? We wanna learn how to uh, grow ourselves and for that, we use the tantric attitude called everything in life is for our awakening. So in that sense, the past is really not here to pull us back and you know hold us back. I always say you don't want to let your history get in the way of your destiny. But it's the past is there so we can grow our wisdom. But you can't really find wisdom from your path, especially for the bad things that happen to us, unless you can stand above it, you can go beyond it, and really start to see, well, what did I learn from that? And uh, how, how did that because that happened, how did it make me grow? So we want to learn how to look back and see with gratitude the extent of our journey and that if our past wasn't exactly the way that it was, we wouldn't be uniquely the person that we are today. So in a sense, it's a way of looking back with love. We can actually love ourselves and that is a requirement in order to go forward into the future without carrying the heavy baggage of the past. We don't want our past to be a burden. Hey, we've all had challenges. Many of us have had traumas too, a horrendous past, and there's so much suffering in the world right now. How can you say anything good about life? Well, check your attitude, man, because uh, you're gonna be able to, <laughs> you can say that no matter what. You know, now's not much different than the suffering that was 400 years ago or before that, you know. Suffering is a fact of life. How are you addressing it? How are you dealing with it? And what meaning are you making of it in order to grow more light inside of yourself so you can be a force for good in this world? You know, when we're steeped in regret, negativity and depression, we're not gonna be so helpful to other people. So I like to be able to look back with gratitude, say, wow, thank you for all those things that happened for me, not to me, life is happening for me. Life isn't happening to us. If life keeps happening to us, then that's living in, in victimhood, which uh, there's no power. So to look back with gratitude and say, hey, you know, it wasn't an easy ride, but it was my journey. And I honor myself, I honor this journey. And I honor the journey forward too. As we look back with eyes of gratitude and compassion, then we can have a clearer vision forward into the future to really be able to embrace the gift and the miracle that life is meant to be. So let's get started. Come on up to a standing position. We're gonna do a few warm-ups and we'll get ourselves into Vimukhasana, the road runner. All right, both arms up in front, all the way up and then reach them back in a circle. Inhale, sweep both arms up in front. Exhale, going back. Inhale, embrace the present, embrace the future. And then when you go back, embrace the past as well. Take it all in with gratitude, lift up. With compassion, go back and embrace it all, pull it all in. Because your past is what has 
you know, made you and, and encouraged and fostered the greatness in you today. So we honor it all. Exhale, release, come to the front of your mat. Feet parallel, inhale, stretch up. Now, from your pelvis, root down through your feet. Stay totally connected on the earth, but rise up to the heavens. And then stick your butt out, go back into the past, <laughs> embrace the past, thigh bones back. And then keeping that, pull your tailbone in, pull in the lessons from the past and bring that into you for a brighter future. So thighs back, tailbone in. Exhale, fold forward, lead with your heart. Check your feet, make sure they haven't moved, feet are parallel. And then bow to yourself and your incredible journey. Inhale, let's open to the bigger energy. Lift your heart and then exhale and fold. Isometrically pull your heels backwards, get your hamstrings to engage a bit more. Inhale, heart forward, exhale, bow to the past. And then inhale, expand your light into the future. Exhale, fold with gratitude. Bring the lessons and the wisdom forward with your heart, go forward. And then exhale, fold. Step back, downward facing dog pose. And alternately, press your heels. Let's get the backs of the legs, the calves, hamstrings open up. Very good, bend both knees. Now, claw your finger pads and your roots and then pull up from your hands all the way up into your heart. Instead of getting bogged down in the past, lift your armpits up rise up more in the future but melt the heart compassion for all the lessons keep your arm bones lifted inner rotate your thighs stick your butt way back lift your sitting bones up but press the inner edges of your heels toward the floor inner edges of heels toward the floor but sitting bones up do that at the same time then draw tail in a bit from your heart push your hands from your heart, root the base of your shins back and get a wonderful, good stretch in Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog pose. Exhale, right knee forward, pigeon prep. We're going to get our hips to open up a bit. So curl your back toes under, square your hips to the front, left hip forward, right hip back, tailbone in, and bow. Keep the back of your sacrum parallel. To the floor uh, compared to letting it tip over to the right side and then root your pelvis down push from your pelvis through the left big toe ball mound and then forward through the right knee and that's going to increase the stretch here in the hip place your hand shoulders back inhale lift your torso and then twist left bend the left knee hold your foot pull your heel more toward the heel, uh, pull your heel more towards your hip. Turn your foot out a little bit. And for those who can, rotate your shoulder, hold just above the toes, thumb is on the big toe edge, turn the thumb down, pivot the elbow up, curl your toes back over your hand. And then press the base of your left thigh into the floor, that's right above your knee, and drag the left thigh forward isometrically. That's gonna take the top of the thigh bone back, which is really good for the pelvis, then pull your tailbone in. So we wanna get a quad stretch. To increase it, if you can, hug into the middle, and then bring your right hand to your right knee. And that's gonna give you a ton more quad stretch. For those that wanna keep going, then you can lift your right arm up, And exhale, release, step back, downward facing. And exhale, left knee forward toward the left hand. Right toes curled under. Move your right hip forward, left hip back. So you square the hips and pelvis first off. And take a breath. Assess the tightness on this side. Is it more tight than the other side or less? 
and then hug in, squeeze your legs toward the middle. So we want to learn how to embrace the life journey, embrace the past. Lift your hands a couple inches. Yeah, hug in. That's going to teach you how to hug in. Keeping all that, place your hands down. Bow forward, head of the arm bones back. And then from your pelvis, push back through the right big toe ball mound. That'll take the whole inner edge of your right foot back. And then extend from pelvis through the knee, the left knee. Keep the back of your sacrum parallel to the floor. So to keep that going, the right hip has to come forward a bit more, left hip back. Very good. Inhale. Come up, twist to the right, bend the right knee, hold your foot, heel to hip, and then isometrically start to drag the base of the right thigh forward, tailbone in. Here, you can take your thumb to the inner edge of the big toe, pivot the thumb down, elbow up, ribs toward the center, so ribs are going to have to go left a little bit, and heel to hip. We want to get a deep quad stretch, front of the right thigh, breathe, hug in with compassion and gratitude, and then left hand to the left thigh if you can. We can call these bus stops, so if it's too difficult for you to do, then get off the bus. Get off at your stop, is what I like to say, so that you don't have to strain or effort. But if you want to keep going, then keep going. Left arm up, root from the pelvis down, balance is weird. Awesome. Exhale, release, step back, downward dog. Come into plank pose, thighs back, tailbone in. Chaturanga pose, you can have your knees on the floor if you want to make it easier. And then exhale, belly down, hips down, point your toes. And inhale, come up into Cobra. Claw your hands and isometrically pull backwards. And just the force, you know, you pull back with gratitude for the past. Then the head of your arm bones go back. And what results with gratitude and compassion for the past? The heart expands forward. We find more freedom. Instead of being the victim of our past or victims of life, we become victorious. Lift your heart, rise up. Shoulder blades, pull down the back into the back of the heart, head back, and then exhale, come down. Okay, stay on your belly, come onto your forearms. So here comes Vimukhasana. Couple things have to happen. You're in the Sphinx pose like this. Then you turn to your right, look over your right shoulder, roll onto the left hip and crawl your right knee forward. Then come more square on the left forearm so you can turn it so it's parallel to the front of your mat. Take your thigh bones back, tailbone in, and then uh, make your right leg into a 90 degree square. So just Push your foot away so your shin and thigh are at 90. Okay, similar to the salamander pose. So you want to keep your ribs up first, thighs back, tail in, and then begin to lean your rib cage, left ribs, toward the front of the mat. Okay, here comes the pose, full pose. Bend your back knee, reach back for your ankle. If you can't make this connection, you can put a belt around your foot. Hold the ankle, flex your foot, and now push your foot, your ankle, into your hand. Roll the right shoulder back, yes, and then from your pelvis, push straight out through the left knee. You wanna grow this line of the femur. So grow your left thigh back, lean your left ribs forward, and now you can start to feel where the stretch is. And take some breaths. Remember, this is the Roadrunner pose to look away from the front. So look over your right shoulder and you see the 
<laughs> coyote uh, being sidetracked. It always takes the decoy and blasts through the sign and it's on the edge of a cliff, falling off the cliff actually. Couple more breaths. There is a mantra that goes with this pose, by the way. Can you guess what that would be? Me beep. Me beep. Okay, exhale, release. Come back onto your belly. Uh, come on to hands and knees and just stretch back into puppy dog pose for a counter stretch. And then return to your belly. Come up, uh, bring, come onto your forearms so you start in um, Sphinx. And then look over your left shoulder, turn your right forearm so it's square to the front edge of your mat, crawl your left knee forward. Then move your right hip back, thighs back, tailbone in. Make the right angles now between the left shin and femur. Flex your foot. Look back over the left shoulder. The final stage is bend your right knee, hold the ankle, keep your right foot flexed, and push your ankle into your hand. And it's gonna, and then roll the left shoulder back more. Lean your right ribs forward, and from your pelvis, push straight back through the right knee. And that's where you start to feel the deep stretch. You have to elongate the femur to get the stretch. And the knee beep mantra is going. Breathe. And take a moment and just reflect back over your past, look into it. We certainly want to come out of denial. Some people won't even look at their past. They won't face it. So we certainly want to face it. But then, instead of looking back with eyes of regret, see if you can look back with eyes of compassion, eyes of understanding, and ultimately eyes of gratitude to be able to receive the lessons that you are meant to get in this lifetime. Everyone has their unique set of life lessons. It's different for everyone, although it's related. It's not about whether you're getting these life lessons. Are you receiving them? And we can receive them with regret, which means we'll push them away, or we could receive them with gratitude. And then we get the essence, and we come to realize that everything in life is for our awakening. Exhale. Release. Push up into all fours. Big your, uh, bring your big toes to touch knees wide. And then fold forward in child pose. This is like the full pranam. Bow to the past receive the lessons, and receive the wisdom that is your birthright. Let your hips settle. Take two or three more deep breaths. Inhale, slowly come up. Have a seat, either sit on your heels or on a folded blanket. Take stock of how your body feels from that. Vimukhasana is an upper body opener. It's got a little back bend, a little twist in it. It's got a hip stretch. Um, the only thing it doesn't have is a forward bend, but it's, it's an almost everything bagel posture. <laughs> Gives you a little bit of everything. So enjoy the feeling in your body and then bring your palms together in front. Close your eyes and draw all the lessons you received from your past. Pull the hope that you have for the radiance of the future and bring both past and future into the present deep into your own heart. And really honor yourself with compassion and gratitude and honor the past for has made you the person you are today. Let's join our hearts with universal 
energy of all that is. And we'll take a breath and chant Om. Om. Namaste. Stay open and engaged and aligned with your heart. Thank you so much for joining me. Have an awesome day.